everybody. Jeff here with RV Optimizer. We're in courtside today at the large RV show. And if you're not here, that's okay, because I'm going to go in and I'm going to try to talk to some vendors that I'm interested in and hope you will be as well. Let's go do this. Here. And uh, Michael, maybe you could tell us a little bit about what Ford's doing and how they're trying to bring kind of RVers into maybe, a, I don't know, this kind of entry point type of okay. a different type of system where you're asking uh, folks to kind of make their own, it sounds like. Yes, and we're giving them the opportunity to make their own. This is the Transit Trail. It's brand new. Production starts the 1st of May, not even building it yet. But what it's designed to do is, is be able to provide the do-it-yourselfer with a chance to outfit his own van, although there are companies who are willing to outfit it for them, somebody who wants a very custom design in their van to get that done as well. Awesome. They can go either way. Let's kind of look inside, but so they would get the van from Ford and then work through other third-party companies to basically build what they want inside. Correct. There right. are at least four or five right now, and I'm sure more are being added as they get a chance to look at it, figure out what they want to do. So what they get is the van here, and this whole part back here, what you see already outfitted in this particular van, comes as a, an empty cargo van and they can do what they want. This particular company who outfitted this one for shows is a company called Van Do It. They're located in Kansas City, Missouri, about two or three miles from the assembly plant, which makes it very easy to get this out of the assembly plant to an upfitter to, to put something inside. Like I said earlier, the, the main thing here is the guy who wants to do it himself. This comes empty. He can do what he wants with it. It's a blank canvas. Part of the package, is this the 3.5 liter V8 engine or V6 engine um, is turbocharged, twin turbocharged, and that's standard all wheel drive is standard. We've got large off road tires, unique custom wheels, um, step bumpers, step, step guide, or right. what have you. Yeah, um, very slick. 12 inch touchscreen inside for all of the. Uh, electronic controls and, and instrument panel controls. And that's kind of new to Ford in these as well, or is They've it They've been growing. A couple of years ago, it was a seven inch screen. Then last year it was an eight inch screen. This year it's a 12 inch. So they're, they're growing that one uh, pretty fast. So- uh, Very good. Well, we appreciate you showing us that real quick. You bet. Thank Thanks you, Michael. for stopping by. You bet. So one of the cool uh, displays that caught my eye is here with Tony. So I'm gonna let Tony introduce himself and what he does. I'm Tony Peterson with Outdoor Adventure Products and I rep tire minder and buy air air compressors. Uh, peace of mind, making sure you're safe on the road, keeping that foundation of our RVs going and keeping us safe on the road. So show us one of these real quick, Tony. Just okay. zoom into that, just real high overview there. So this is our I-10 model. This model right here will hold up to 20 tires, two different screens. Right now it's on the rear screen, so that would show you the rear of your tow vehicle or trailer. Five seconds later, it toggles to the front. That would show you your whole motorhome or your tow truck, whatever you have in the front. It'll do up to 20 tires, 10 on each. Uh, it runs off of these transmitters. 1632 battery goes right inside. This screws onto all the valve stems of your car, tow vehicle, motorhome, whatever you got it on. It's monitoring your tire pressure. It's monitoring your tire temperature and going to help prevent blowouts as well as keep it accurate when you're driving down the road so you get better gas mileage and we're safe on the road. Awesome. And that's always peace of mind for sure. 100%. Where do people find you at? Um, I'm at OutdoorAdventureProducts.com or you can come to the Quartzsite RV show. Uh, we'll be here all the way till next Saturday. We've got multiple lines of the tire pressure monitoring systems. You'll be able to see all of your tires all at the same time. We've got a monitor system that you can run off of a cell phone or a tablet. Um, multiple compressors. If you're already a tire minder customer, you already know that you get free battery and O-ring replacements every year. So if you're around, come see us at a show and get your free battery and O-ring replacements. And don't forget to tell all your friends about us. Thank you. Appreciate you're that welcome. quick overview, Tony. Okay, here's an interesting one for you. We all have pets and all kinds of stuff that ends up in our RVs. Ran across this kind of interesting uh, um, way to basically take care of that. So we're here with Laura, Laura and Laura's going to show you this ingenious little device that uh, we're in the process of buying as well. So Laura, tell us a little bit about your it's product. It's called the Sticky Master. 
Okay. And with the sticky master, it's going to take away all your hair problems, any, any kind of problem you would have with animals. So all you have to do, it comes with this, and if, I'm going to have you touch it and put your hand yeah, around yeah. it. No, very sticky. Feel, yep. but do you feel any of this stuff Nothing on your there. hands? No, because it does not go on your own body. So you take this, and on any animal, whatever you want, but look at this. It's going to take it and just take every single bit of any hair or anything that's going to be on any fabric whatsoever. And this is the medium roller. Even to the fact where if I have bird seed down here on the carpet or anything, it's going to pick it up. Now, to get this off of here, all you do is go into your kitchen or bathroom or anything where you have running water. And just take it and just let the water run over top of Love it. Love it. But my favorite part is this one. <laughs> has a telescopic lens, you just put it any any you know uh, fan, anything, ceilings in your R V and places where you can't get underneath those beds, you know, or you know, is all the next to the wall. And what's your web address? It is thepitchstore.com. Perfect. Okay. Laura, thank you so much You're for very sharing welcome. that. Thank, thank you. you very much. Yep. like to store it in their RVs and it makes it a lot easier to get in smaller spaces. Awesome. So that's always an issue because they're not light, they're still 64 pounds. Exactly, they are 64 pounds and so when moving them around a lot of people like to either put them on racks or something and that can be a very heavy weight to bear. So sometimes we even offer a going to like a Lowe's or Home Depot and getting a 50 gallon tub to put them in. Oh, okay. Rolling them around in this way and Offering this box formation allows an easier movable action cool. for people. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. One thing I always find interesting is when I sit outside my RV at night and watch TV, except I don't want to lug a big TV and mine doesn't have one built into the side. So one of the things I think is cool that we're looking into is getting a projector that you can basically just shine on the outside of the RV and just carry something small with you like that. So kind of an interesting little gadget to think about. Okay, so I'm here at Flagpole Buddy with David, and I was really interested in this. We all have either flags or um, antennas of some sort. We're trying to mount on our RVs. I thought this could be an interesting one. So, Dave, tell us what the package works. Well, the main thing about our product is it holds it, it holds it in two places. That's the key, right? Instead of one spot, you get a lot of torque, and you can distort your ladder or anything else to try to put it on. It's holding it in two spots. Like you would normally hold a flagpole. In this case, we're just holding our Starlink, and this is on our demo. It normally goes on the RV ladder, but a lot of the newer coaches don't have ladders, so we came up with the suction cup version. These suction cups are, uh, they'll hold about a 300 pound piece of glass. They have a pump built into it, and basically just put it on there and start pumping. There's a red line on here, and once the red line goes away, and you know I'm pumped enough, huh? You have maximum vacuum. So right now you're not. Now you're getting tarder, harder, harder, yeah. right there. So now you've got maximum vacuum on your pump. You're not going to pull this off. It will not come off. And then when you want to take it off, or, or before that, you just kind of watch your coach and say, okay, if this line starts to come out, you might have some micro cracks in your, in your fiberglass, or this could be defective. You know, things happen. But anyway, you just monitor that. Once you get them off, you just pull, just pull that right there, and it comes right off. It's that easy. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for showing us. We appreciate it. And people can go to your website and find more. That is pretty cool. Yeah. The easiest thing we have is this right here. It's that simple. The whole idea is to keep you safe. You mount that on your ladder one time. And you're up. I love it. Perfect. Thank you. Oh. Okay, one thing we're always interested in with RVs is how do we get more power? How do we stay out longer? How do we have things run longer? So I ran into David here who can answer some of those questions, I think. So David, tell us a little bit about what you guys provide. Wonderful. Thank you for your time and having me on the show. I appreciate it. Uh, so we provide lithium batteries and lithium portable power options. So I'll first of all go through lithium portable power options. So just like you'd have a gas generator, you have gas in there providing power, we have solar generators. So we've got various size solar generators. This one right here is a 500 watt generator. 
it'll out, output at 500 watts. It'll do it for 450 watt hours. So okay. in other words, you could plug your laptop in there, your Traeger grill in there and run it for nine hours. It's 11 pounds of portable power. I'll date myself a little bit, but it's kind of like a you know cool radio as you went down the road. There you go, I like it. Okay, so then you've got just the next, it's also a 500 watt output, but now it does it for 665 watt hours. So 18 pounds, but now again, it's just portable power anyway. Charge all your cell phones, run all your 110 hour. You don't run your battery power down. This works really well for your medical devices. Your CPAP machines, now they're not using their battery power. Now they run movies, whatever they want. Yeah. This one's wonderful. This is a 2,000 watt inverter. You can plug your entire RV into yeah, this can. and run everything but your AC. Yep. And so it comes. You can get it with an expansion pack. Um, and so normally we're 23, you know, 2,300 dollars for just this unit. Our shows we have this, the expansion pack, and solar. And that's the beauty is you can now not have to have gas. You can now recharge these either with 110 power or by solar power, and now you have 110 power anyway. So that's the brief run through on solar charge controllers, Jeff. And then we go to lithium batteries. We can do that real quick. Okay, right here. Lithium batteries. So lithium batteries are only 23 pounds. You can use all the amp hours of a lithium battery, so now you can camp twice as long. Lifetime warranty, last batteries you ever buy. And that's uh, over 100 amp hours. Yeah, 105 amp hours. Most batteries output at 100 amps. We output at 150 amps, a little more powerful. And the other thing I learned about yours, the other thing I learned about yours was you don't have heaters built in, but your system will allow you to charge or dispense a charge at a lower temperature. Well. Yeah, all lithium operates clear down to minus four degrees. Um, and and then accept a charge down to 32 degrees. Right. So we do offer a heat pad that can go on it. Some of the folks out there that are offering heaters inside, once that heater goes out, the battery goes out. So ours are external heaters that goes on site there. Good yeah, enough. lighter weight, no maintenance. Uh, last batteries you ever buy, just a much better camping experience. Power's no longer your Achilles heel, Jeff. Now it's fresh water and gray water. Good to know. David, thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Good luck, my friend. Thanks. So it is getting really cold here and a lot of our people coming in. We're going to end this thing. I hope the few that uh, uh, vendors that I showed you were interesting. They were to me. Um, and uh, gosh, thanks for joining me. If you like these type of things, please like and or subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate that. And until next time, happy travels.